Hello and welcome to the Indie Bandits YouTube and Twitch. Joe here, and I'm joined by one son of thunder, Jimmy. How are you? I'm all right. And Riverdale's finest, Archie. How are you? I'm all right. Cheers. Thank you very much. It's all right. It's just uh, we're going to be playing. <laughs> we're going to be playing nuts today, and it's a uh, it's a funny one. Um, I'm not even sure how to describe it. I've I've seen one review calling it a uh, Firewatch for Attenborough lovers. So Did they not uh, call it nuts. No, no one in the review wanted to keep mentioning nuts. Maybe. Oh really? <laughs> I don't know, but uh, I've I've seen a lot of uh, a lot of chatter about this one, so um, and it looked kind of intriguing as you can see from the visuals. So I thought we'd uh, we'd give this a go for this this uh, mm -hmm. this month's podcast. And here we'll be doing our first impressions of it. So we'll be playing for about an hour. I've checked and I've found the game is probably about four and a bit hours in total. So we're not going to be rushing through it because we don't want anyone watching to see too much of the game obviously um but do want to play enough just to to have a good idea of what what you'd be in for if you want to come along with us and watch some squirrels so he's he's ready to dive in this is not going to be the <laughs> hades-esque yeah strap in this is not going to be <laughs> full be throttle <laughs> yeah this is this is not going to be the the full throttle gameplay that we were having on a <laughs> on the hades stream but we'll, we'll we'll see how this works see how uh <laughs> how streaming more relaxed gaming experiences works as a format so let's dive in be funny as fuck after all that if the the intro is just extreme as fuck <laughs> it's yeah. screen screen full of squirrels flying everywhere <laughs> there we go Right, yeah, I am at the bus stop. That's the that's the level of excitement I was prepared what, for. We are just yeah. <laughs> There's a like hundred miles an hour opening there. Slow down, Joe. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is. Let's see what I've done. Oh, I can crouch and crouch and jump. Mm. I cannot peer around corners. This is not. Mm. Uh, this is. Not, it's a red grappling hook. This is not a really uh, Tom Clancy's The Siege or whatever. Tom Clancy's at nuts. <laughs> Brilliant. Brilliant. Let's uh. go. <laughs> Excellent, RG. Well, well done. Well done. I think this format works for you. Ripping on <laughs> ripping on games we're meant to be uh, celebrating and praising. I'm going to walk down this path if that's all right we use. If, if I'm going too quick for you, just do let me know. Mm. Yeah, just to, you know, calm down a little bit. Just be, just be like... Oh, here we go, someone's talking. Nope. I'm not gonna lie, this already looks like a game I would absolutely love to play. <laughs> like, and I'm not being like sarcastic or anything. No, I I, I do know you're a you're a big fan of your walk and Sims Archie. <laughs> I do like them. Oh, the pay is not great, but it's a great opportunity. Yeah, so we're we're researching squirrels. It's uh, I picked this one because it felt like it felt like more of an Archie game. I feel mm. last month. The, the Hades thing, we know you're not a huge fan of roguelikes and roguelites, Archie, and we put you through I that. I did like Hades, though. I didn't Hades enjoy, is like, class. Let's not forget that. Like, um... That was the consensus. We all we all enjoyed Hades, but it was from a genre that you aren't a huge yeah. fan of. And yeah. this is a genre that you are quite a fan of, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, uh yeah. I've dabbled you like, me, uh... You like he's dabbled nuts, in the genre. He? I like it. <laughs> he likes Tom Clancy's nuts. nuts. Right. Uh, mentioned caravan interview. Where is it? I'm assuming that's it there. The caravan, surely. I, I reckon we've spotted it. I think. Oh, game over. Beat the game. Beat the game in five minutes. This is essentially a speed run. I'm looking at your resume right now. Who's talking no to me? A squirrel. Oh, well, I feel. <laughs> You're actually playing as a squirrel. Is that going to be the big twist at the end? <laughs> it's like the. Uh, a uh, spoiler alert for Metal Gear Solid Five if you haven't played it, but you might not be who you think you are throughout the entire game. Sorry, guys. True. Whoa, really? <laughs> like... I know for a game that's a uh, is it like seven years old now? Yeah, uh, like a five, isn't it? Six. Yeah, that game is that old, Mike. Five years Animal. old. Yeah, when I first bought my PS PS Four, it I bought the day one edition. Or. The day one edition, as it was called over here in Spain. Yeah, I think 
Um, and look for. I think that was the game. Because when I first bought my PS4, I thought it was kind of like a big waste of time because it didn't have like it had like Destiny on it, and I wasn't the biggest fan of that game, and nothing had come out for a while. And I think MGS5 was the first game I played where I was like, "Whoa, this is actually like, you know, something really, really good." Yeah. Yeah, we're going. I've got the keys to the caravan. Already a pro at this game. I am already better at this game than any keys. any game we've played on stream. He um, says as he fails to open the door. It looks magnificent, this game, by the way. It's lovely, isn't it? Yeah, I just it's it's a very weird choice of aesthetic, but it's, it's not uh, doing it, it for me. Uh, I'm going to have to disagree You're not liking with it, you, sir. No, You're not, liking it? not so far. Well, I think you should leave the stream, then. <laughs> so I don't have time <laughs> Hang on, yeah, for any I'm negative back. Nancys here. <laughs> Frozen stuff. Right, how is that? It's different, for sure, but I'm not sure if it's <laughs> if it's doing it for me. So what I think they've done here is they've gone for like a very, very like low poly kind of aesthetic. And obviously, like if you put loads of detail on someone low poly, it ends up looking a bit crap. But if you kind of like, I guess, reduce the color and all that like they've done here, you can kind of get away with it being a stylistic choice. Yeah. Do you know how generators work? I am. I am showing my. Usually, don't you? Sorry. Uh, have you got some fuel to put in it? Ah, that's a good shout. There was a fuel canister. I don't know. Hey, I'm a city boy, man. I don't know me crack on about getting out in the woods and stuff. Well done, James. Yeah. I feel. I'm just gonna. I'm gonna just place the fuel on it. Oh, it does it for you. Fill the generator. Sorted. Crack a Latin. So is it just too like um, minimalist for this you for you, James? This or? I don't know if it's any, uh, just the minimalist. It's just uh, I don't know, like the color palette, the style okay. of it. It's just just not doing it for us. I'm just not. A, I'm not enjoying the look of it. That's it's not it. bad. It's just not for me. Yeah, fair enough. Is that something you can tweak, or is it? Uh, I think is this that is the just set. Yeah. All right. <laughs> yeah, it turns out Drew has it on the really low settings, and he turns it on. I might. Have no, no, I'm like it's like photorealistic. <laughs> with the the stylized look of it, I was just wondering oh. if they might have put in something where you can like. Because the colors are obviously not realistic, you could just mm. change the colors. That would be kind of a cool thing. P potentially, imagine if it had like a color palette setting, or I've just been playing mm. it on like colorblind friendly mode the whole time. And I am already stuck. I don't know how. To... If you can fire up the generator, so how do you fire up a generator? Is there not just an on button on the side of it? Oh, well, that's that's what you'd think, wouldn't you? Put the fuel in it. Oh. <laughs> there you go. This is I am so bad at every game ever. Well done, Joe. You are. <laughs> right, okay. Generator. Generator done. Maybe it's my maybe it's a huge inability to multitask. Right, this now is, I need to was fax. That multitasking? I thought that was like one task it, at it's a time. Like, it's like well no, because the, the other task is listening to you talk about What's other like stuff. Monotasking. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I can, I can barely do one thing at a time. Pick up the phone here again. Can you run? Oh, me. Hello, Snake. Shots. <laughs> you <laughs> reached save station. Please insert your credit card details now <laughs> to to continue past the ten minute preview. Oh man. Find a camera. Oh, that oh, I can they've do. They've put one giant squirrel in this game. Like, it's really hard to find, but... It's like, like a Metal Gear on Slice 1 or something. The camera. Yeah. Oh, there we go. Fantastic. Snipe a photo for me, could you? Of the whole caravan? Uh, which side of the caravan? Hang up the phone. That I can do, almost. <laughs> what the it's bloody phone, down. You have broken the phone. <laughs> Toggle camera. There we go. Um, there we go. But this game isn't made by the Firewatch guys, is it? No, I don't know. No, it's it, the, the four guys who made it were. Four guys, one game. Right, I've got a picture. I have a picture somewhere, but I don't know how to pick up. Ah, select a photo. Aha, there we go. How do fax machines work again? There you go. Sorted. <laughs> oh, hello. Hello, Rude and Sprites. I'm very sorry if I've mispronounced your name. I'm not very good at playing games or pronouncing usernames online. Do you have the phone ringing? Do you have the phone I'm chatting, I'm chatting to Rude and Sprites. One thing at a time, lads. One thing at a time. Uh, One thing at a time. Okay, ready to go. Take a last look at civilization. That was civilization. Jesus. Nailed the pronunciation. I haven't nailed anything else in this game. 
but Rudin strikes. I don't think you should talk about say nailing when your game's called nuts. We should maybe <laughs> all right, refer all right. from those types of terminology. <laughs> we'll just avoid the entire the entire crack on with a uh, with innuendo. Until uh, you get into the forest, anyway, deep in the bush. Oh, James, come on! There we go, cheeky. I got an achievement there. Work safety. I was not listening to the woman explaining the safety to me, so. There Whoa! You go, now it's gone pretty. Uh, you oh, like this no. one, James? This, this this game would give me. <laughs> A headache after about 20 minutes. I don't think I can do it. <laughs> do I have to keep facts in the sheets every time? Okay. I'm going to do it anyway because I'm a good worker. Ah, and that's how yeah. you get the phone to ring. There is a lot of momentum on this dude when he moves, by the way. This is the weirdest call of babe station I've ever seen. I'm sure you'll love it here. Such peace and quiet. Imagine if this whole this game, game was about Rudin's... the magazine, which uh, anyone outside the UK will not maybe not remember the magazine nuts. I don't know if that went anywhere, but the I was wondering what you were talking about there. Yeah. Gentleman's Interest <laughs> magazine. Imagine if this was just a whole <laughs> time. Gentleman's in Interest. Yeah, that's the nicest way to put it. Yes, I've already forgot what you tell us to do. I should explore the caravan. Oh, Jesus! Give us a break! I didn't realize squirrel watching was so bloody yeah, <laughs> hectic. Be Easier if you just had a mobile phone, wouldn't it? I know, right. But they're still faxing. When's this, when's this game meant to take place? A cork board for my research. There we go. <laughs> uh, I don't know if you guys are looking at the chats. Rudin knows the Rudin knows the score, and we are we are not Rudin. We are not saying that you have a. A subscription to nuts or anything like that. If you do, good for you. If you don't, that's fine. I don't know who still Does it reads even exist anymore. That's what. That's my question. I love how the nuts, the nuts stream is actually going to just be about the the UK magazine. <laughs> Pin the briefing to the board. Jeez, how do we do this? Where's the Where's the briefing? I've already. Did you print something? Joe, like Joe, 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 Joe. I'm, I'm panicking. I'm panicking. Put, put the phone oh, down. My. No, it says. No, it says. I have to hold on the phone. You reach your card limit, they're not gonna give you any more. Now, can you see a small GPS device with an antenna? <laughs> hey, can I? Small GPS device. <laughs> FHM, FHM magazine, yeah. That any of them actually popular. exist anymore. I don't think so. I think boy. FHM was, and I'm gonna put it out there, classier than nuts. Uh, <laughs> there's the hot take, the indie band's hot take name, is yeah. classier. FHM is a classier magazine than nuts. I think it was just higher quality paper. What did FHM stand for? For him, magazine. I mean, I don't oh, know. Right. <laughs> <laughs> and when was it first published, Joe? <laughs> I don't know, and I still don't have me a subscription. Imagine if I was having someone someone sending sending copies of FHM like, internationally to get to his. Right, I think I'm meant to use this little doodad. I hope <laughs> put one of these things down, Joe. I, I know, I know, I know. Yeah, there we go. Too much. I, I'm, I'm looking at the phone. I'm looking at the scanner. I'm looking at the chat, and Rudan is that, mentioning that is, that is uh, a Serum Shelter. Right I know, hmm. I know. I'm, I'm trying. That's Buffy the Vampire Slayer, isn't it? Yep, yep. that's the one. I almost and, said Xena uh, Warrior Princess. Uh, she's she's still about. I mean, they're both still about. Who's, who's that? Was that Lucy Lawless? Yes. Uh, I don't know what I'm meant to be doing. I should have looked. Nice to have some new equipment to pick up. Oh, well, I clearly didn't pick up the pick up the equipment. R Rudan's uh, distraction is making us think right of past uh, it there, Joe. Mevy's. The big Wait, box I... outside. Are Apple's equipment? Hey, new boots. This should be everything you'll need for the moment. Good luck with your research. What, apples? I'm not convinced with how much you're struggling with what is, seems to be a very basic game right now. Do I just have to take the <laughs> apple to where the squirrels go? <laughs> I guess so. And apples. An X, yeah. But squirrels like nuts? Is that the spoiler to this whole game? <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to get to the end of this. No more apples in the vending machine, please. Ah, <laughs> oh, they already told us how to... There's an X here. I'm... 
Just a couple right. of beefy screws hanging down from the top of that tree. <laughs> Whereabouts? I'm not meant to look back. I thought it might be like a weird bit of art or something that looked like that. Oh, jeez. This game really is nuts. Uh, you have to put the other apple oh. core down there. Oh, there we go. Like, jump scare or what? I know, right? Right, I've got it. So What's I've got he holding this with? <laughs> like... I'm just rolling oh, down with work. both hands. Here we go. Right. Everyone, check out my notes. Camera down. Right. Guess I should yeah. head back to my caravan and press record on my TV. Jesus, this is as hard as setting up, you're not gonna <laughs> setting point up Twitch. It at the, if you're not going to point the camera at the... We'll, we'll, we'll go with this for the time being. Look, I'll, I'll work out angles and photography later. <laughs> on the TV. Here we go. Record this. Ah, oh, there we go. Nice big button. Game Sorted. Over. Um, Rudan asks, do we play local co-op games together? Well, we can't play local at the minute, as you know, the way of the world hmm. as it is. But we are looking to start uh, Valheim, the oh, new yeah, yeah. Uh, survival Viking game. And... Oh, Oh and we're yeah, people go... were talking about Valheim at uh, work today, and they're showing off. Is that where it's like a survival game or something? Have I Sur got yeah. the survival Viking yeah, yeah, yeah. game? And I was thinking we could stream and play that as it goes through early access, because Sounds good. because we wouldn't be able to use it or talk about it on the podcast because well, we talk about it and then a month later, we'll uh, we'll be out of date and it won't make any sense what we're talking about. Hi. But when we have played local co-op games together, like back in the day when we were allowed to, you know, be in the same house as one another. Or was it we used to play? Was it Overcooked? Is that what it's called? I do love a bit Overcooked. Overcooked 2 is a, yeah. uh, playable online. Oh, I saw a squirrel! <laughs> so, right. I sound like me. I sound like me. Yeah, ran off into the darkness. Yep, that is it. That's, well, I'm no, I'm no squirrel expert right now, but I feel I've learned a thing or two about squirrels already. <laughs> there we go. End of tape. Let's see what my research has to say about that. Once the squirrel is... Oh, I need to print a picture of the squirrel. Oh, shit, this, this just went up a level. Right, end of tape. Oh, shit, you have to rewind the tape, don't you? I forgot how tapes work. Hey, flash from the past, this, isn't it? Right, on squirrel watch, guys. Oh, I saw him. Oh. Oh, I saw... I've got him, I've got him. Come on, you cheeky squirrel. Oh, I've got to press play. Got the bastard, right. <laughs> There we can. This is better than headshotting someone from like 300 yards out. Nina will appreciate it. Facts proof of my fine squirrel photography skills now. Once the squirrel is visible on my screen, I can print a picture. Do you guys want a, um, a squirrel Sorry. fact that I've just Googled? Go on then. <laughs> yes. Squir squirrel's nest is called a uh, dre. Nice. D R E Y S. Nice. I'm reading this from Discover Wildlife. Um, they are compact, spherical structures which are slightly lighter than footballs. And I didn't know that, to be honest. I thought they were just called nests. I did but... not know they even had nests. No, actually, I thought they just lived in little, you know, um, hovels inside trees. Yeah, I just thought they lived in, like, small little houses. You know, like, there was a little door. You know, like, yeah. the cartoons in that way. You just open the cheeky door, and then once you've opened the door, there's, like, a little bed and everything, and the like, little squirrel family in that. Oh, well. So it's called a Dre. Is that where the rapper got in... his name from? <laughs> I, I hope it is. I hope Dre? It is. I mean, obviously it's short for Andre, isn't it? But, yeah. Is it actually? I don't think it's... It was it's... a squirrel in a former life or something It'd like that. It'd be so funny if yeah, everyone <laughs> just, just assumed really it was Andre. Squirrels? And he just loves squirrels. Yeah. Dr. Dre is just a massive fan of squirrels. Who isn't? They're all massive fans of squirrels. Yeah. Maybe check outside. Was her, I wasn't listening to her call, but was her tip to, was to look outside for squirrels? I've got to go for I reckon the squirrels are going to be outside this caravan, like Joe. I've, I'm going to. I know. You may get an achievement there. Smash that. Cheeky achievement. Wait, I'm amazing at finding squirrels. Do I have to open this camera box every day? I'm going to spoil you guys with another squirrel fact here, and Let's I didn't know it. this one either. Are you, are you, you, know are you vying for resident indie banded squirrel expert, Archie? <laughs> Well, I will be after this. Like, is this part of your doctoral thesis? But they can run up to twenty miles per hour. I didn't know that. I can't and run up to twenty miles fast. an hour. Yeah, I know. <laughs> There's a uh... interesting fact that is five miles an hour slower than my top speed. Really? <laughs> <laughs> That's that would be 
prompt them. What about this, James? I I don't think I can run twenty five miles an hour. <laughs> no, I've uh, I've I've worked it out. I, I know how I know how quick I can run because uh, back near your gaff, Archie, a couple of streets up, there's a speed camera on the road. And oh, I remember we we were running it. There. We've done this before, right? So you've been with us mm-hmm. on the walk back from our local pub, where. Uh, we can run down that road and the camera actually tracks your speed and i've tried it a few times and about 11 miles an hour is my top pace after four mm. four slurpers i mean in addition to their speed of 20 miles per hour <laughs> they can also jump as high as 20 feet imagine that That's yeah i can't impressive. jump 20 That's feet pretty impressive. Joe, I mean, aim it at the apple core all right all right what am i doing by the way <laughs> where's that squirrel go i'll find out and share with nina I assume I meant to pick the whole camera up and move it over to X Boy, mm. and now that I'm in X Boy, I can just point it down this this road. There here's a here's a here's a squirrel question for you. So we're gonna we're gonna start quizzing here. So now this is the squirrel quiz. <laughs> but just, yeah, what we want is? We to be a millionaire of squirrel questions. Which which breed yeah. of squirrel has the longest lifespan out of A the alpine marmot or B the <laughs> Siberian chipmunk? Are these squirrels? Um, they sound like they're not squirrels. <laughs> call me a call me a squirrel. What was the first actor. one called, James? The marmot. Hang on, hang on the... a second. We have the marmot and the Siberian chipmunk. Are they both squ- are chipmunks and marmot squirrels? I feel, I feel my head will explode. I'm gonna go for the marmot on this one. Well, I guess I'll bet sure. on the other one. The which is the other one? The chipmunk. Yeah, no, C-H-I- Archie's got that one right. The the Alpine oh. marmot lives between fifteen and eighteen years, whereas the Siberian chipmunk only lives between six and ten years, Joe. Mm. Well, pretty miles. general knowledge that when you think about it. Yeah, I mean, yeah. It's, it's common common <laughs> stuff. If you'd you, really taken a second just to think about it, Joe, you'd get through you'd any pro quiz with that kind of knowledge. Right, here we go. <laughs> double double the cameras, double the fun here. Um Oh, I saw the little blight there. There's one there. Yeah. When oh. you see a squirrel, I'm I'm not like trying to <laughs> Well, hey, be facetious here, but do you still have to report a red squirrel when you see one? Is because, that a thing? like, since the night. No, no, like, well, because the population in the UK, at least, was, like, dwindling oh. just of red squirrels because, like, grey squirrels were, like, chinning them, I think. And, like, chinning and I think them. red squirrels like, were. <laughs> Wait, so one <laughs> squirrel just scrapping. had a few too many brown ales and is, like, <laughs> starting on the other ones. Oh, leave us alone. Oh, what else watch? No, but I think there was a point uh, when, if you did see a red squirrel, because they were in such decline that you had to actually, like, tell, like, I don't know, Your the mom. royal squirrel family. Yeah, me, mom. <laughs> the royal squirrel You had family. to tell Archie's mom. Yeah. Excellent. I'm just, I'm just she throwing she like photos. Uh, get, get stuffed. Right. I'm just throwing squirrel photos at a fax machine. Final Did destination. You print off a picture in. without a squirrel on it, Joe. I may have. I just showed. I just showed her that one. There's a. That's not its final destination. I do have more photos though. Don't worry. Don't worry. I well, there a was few one out. there that had a picture of a squirrel on it. Yeah, but that, that... just been that photo. Right. Look, I had him on the. I had him on the cams. Right. You get him on got the, one. No, look at him. Look at him in screen one. There he is. Print him off. Off screen one. I've got this. This is. Where is it? I cannot see it on screen one. Right. We'll go back. We'll go back. Watch. Watch. Here he is. See him? There he is. Look, he's there, pottering there. off. He comes back up the hill. Right, why do you, why are you taking it, why are you printing it where he's miles away? Because she wants to find out his final destination, apparently. Alright, okay. And Rudan says, reminds me a bit of that game where you take pictures of Pokemon. Yes, I think some people have likened this it to is, yeah. Pokemon Snap. It's, it's a low-key version of a, a low-key game. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's very chill. All right, she's, she's got to be happy with this. Nina seems to I be. I can't see the squirrel, but that doesn't look like it's final destination. Can all right, all right. Long, okay. So I'm tell you uh, what, Joe, I'll, I'll, you know, I'm losing confidence in your ability to do this. I'm not. Look, I'm, sure I'm just. She is a, as I'm well. just a grad student. I'm just a. I'm just a lowly grad student trying to. I'm going to go well, back that out and that give is it another. Painfully goal. obvious right now. Right, look. So we. Here's well, me cameras. We're heading out. This is day three. We know the squirrel comes down and he potters off our here, right? Yeah, so grab one of the cameras and nip off into the woods. Alright, just potter off into the woods. You think maybe between these trees is a nice little setup? Look at that. Should I get some Dutch yeah. angle on it? Here we can. Look at that. Go that for a snap like a, zoom. Sounds can like a s- position, doesn't it? What, the Dutch <laughs> angle? Is this going back to the nuts and FHM chat? 
Yeah. <laughs> should I still have the tree, or should I just... Do I need the down the way road? Like, he's definitely going to come down this tree and potter off. Hello, long play. Hello. Uh, that I can pronounce correctly. I can, uh... you, you got the other one right, didn't you? I know, but I, I, so. I, I get yeah. I get nervy with people's names. I listened to an entire podcast today where they, they did speak for about 10 to 20 minutes on how different names are pronounced. That's that's the kind of content I like, and this is why I feel nuts is right up my alley. We're, we're looking, we're looking for uh, we're looking for squirrels. I'm it, gonna, uh, the visuals I'm, are good. I'm going to capture that audio from this stream, Joe, and I'm going to have that as any time you call or text me. That's that's going to. Well, my ring to it is I just listen to people talk about how to pronounce names for twenty minutes. That's the kind of content I like. No, no, the bit where you said nuts are right up my alley. <laughs> Oh shit! I didn't even. I I did not even cotton onto that. Right. Look at this. Night three. There we go. Long players right that this game does look super cool, but uh, Jimmy's not a fan because he feels it would hurt your head after a while. Uh, it's not hurting my head, but you could probably turn the contrast down. Oh, there he goes. Look at that. One wee squirrel. Just Off wait. Oh, 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 oh. <gasps> oh, oh, got there got the is. sucker. Where's he going? Where's he, he going? Is. Oh, he keeps going. I feel I need is more this going to turn into a Friday at Freddy's or whatever that game is called, where you do this kind of like general task for so long and eventually you get this like horrendous jump scare towards the end of the game? Reed, less of amazing. that, Archie. Okay, mm. less of that. Don't don't put that idea yeah. in my mind. You know how badly I did when we did the the horror streams over Halloween. Mm. Like we had to abandon <sighs> streams because I was basically caking myself. Mm. There's definitely somebody that outside this like, so many times. I can't see the There's definitely somebody outside this caravan. Like, don't don't alone. do that. You, 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 you know exactly how little I enjoy jump scares. Look, it's it's <laughs> night time as well, Joe. You know what? You I'm know. gonna start. I'm gonna and start telling four. Nina that I can't work nights because they're too scary. Right. We need to go and reset the camera. We're still looking for its final destination. All right. Do you remember the film Final Destination? Yeah. Yeah. Do you think it's gonna be like that? <laughs> squirrel <laughs> dies on. We have a vision there. of your own death, and then you've got to try and like prevent it. Prevent the squirrel's death. <laughs> I, I, I do want to prevent the squirrel's death. Uh, Maybe Archie, you can answer this. What sounds more technical question? Is this game in false color? What is? I, assume um, this is just... I am not too sure what false color is. What is false color? Long play. That's a good question. Um, it is. You can like, it's like this... negative, isn't it? Like the what's that called? Negative. You know, negative effect you can get when you take a photograph. Like an inverse. Like. Yeah. It looks weird. So yeah, the whole game is in this like sort of two tone crack on where you've got. I guess it's three tones, but it seems like you have two mm -hmm. main colours. You have like the environment and things you oh, can okay. interact with, and that's they're they're the only two colours. And then the background, which is I guess the third colour, but I like it. Um it helps. I'm, I'm getting I'm getting, I'm getting on this. I feel like I've really gr grown into my role as a squirrel investigator. I don't think that's what you're doing. Am I not? Are you, oh, are there you he goes! As a squirrel investigator? Secret squirrel. <laughs> Secret squirrel. Oh, oh, shit, I missed him. She's going to tell me that this is not his final destination. And I'm going to go get stuffed. How much more do you need to know about squirrels? I know that's the whole premise of the game, but... <sighs> Can I have a third camera? I feel this would be a lot easier with more cameras. I know this is probably not like... This is this this project is do not getting all the university's funding. One. Uh, yes, thank you, James. Clerical error. In the bin with you. I've got. I can print as many photos as I like, but apparently I can't get can't get a third camera. There we go. Crack the lighting. Oh, I've re rewound the camera. Doesn't matter. Right, Nina. Be happy with this. Feel I'm getting you a call right another, now. another um, squirrel. Another fact. squirrel. She's quick on the phone, isn't she? I know. I can't see the squirrel, yeah, yeah. We get you crack on. Right. All right, shut up. So, guys, um, okay. a squirrel's front teeth never stop growing. Now, can you imagine that? Yeah. Were you in that, that same predicament? I think it's the same with uh, with rabbits, isn't it? That's why they gnaw on carrots and crack on. Yeah. Rudan, don't grow, don't bro? encourage the scares. All right, uh, Rudan. <laughs> what? Uh, no, you, you just definitely did... want the squares. <laughs> the squares, the scares. <laughs> if, if, if you want to look back the at some of the, uh, the the clips from the horror gameplay that we have, it's oh, well worth it just to hear Joe screaming like I, blood I... curdling terror screams. They are yeah. well worth it. What, what was it? The painting it one, was Archie. Layers of all, fear, all wasn't of them, it? All of them. 
should be called layers of smear after after what we happened. did have another stream where we were what were we streaming was it soma when yes. oh, we had man. to cut it short because because the the, the, the cabinet the cabinet collapsed, collapsed. that was halloween <laughs> as well hello studio Mid-stream. primitive uh yes uh yes my 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 uh, is it a welsh dresser i don't know what you call it but one of these big wooden units that holds a lot of glassware we were on stream and that entire thing collapsed destroying about 18 18 glasses in the process whilst we were on stream and i did not know if that was a, an audio effect in the game yeah. or it was uh or it was in the uh, real world and my mission. house was haunted like joe just got back to the streams like i don't want to do this anymore that i couldn't i was too <laughs> no freaked out got the stream short I'm going to bed. Oh, With I can't. On. <laughs> oh, look at him. He's going. St- I think I've missed him. Oh, I've missed him. He goes the other way. Damn it. Uh, Rudan, uh, uh, I can't. Dis- I I cannot disguise the fear. There's no way. I can't be like. No. Oops, sorry. This, itchy back or something like that. I think when you do go to the cinema and you're watching like a horror film like that, you you jump more because you're in the atmosphere of everybody else who's feeling the same thing a lot of the time. Yeah. I, I remember me and you, James, we went to see the Paranormal Activity 2 film, which itself really isn't that yes, scary of a film, but when you're in a, well a screening full of other people who are scared by it, you can't help just get lucky. Oh, yeah, you get the jump. Yeah. Feed oh, the the jump. Yeah. jump, you jump. Well, when the first one, when the first one <laughs> came out, I worked in a cinema, and that was, that was an amazing experience, because right at the very end of the first Paranormal Activity, there's this... Uh, I think there's like footage, spoiler alert if you're going to watch Paranormal Activity, the first one from about 10 years ago. Um, basically, there's this like camera footage of this girl standing still for like hours on end at night, and then it ends with her like flying at the camera at the screen. And that, scared, that would scare a whole room of, uh, of cinema goers. But because there's a timestamp on the bottom of your uh, of the footage in the in the film, mm-hmm. you know exactly when it's going to happen. So working in the cinema, you could go in just before you had to clean up the screens and like sweep with popcorn and all that, and just wait for about two hundred people to essentially shit themselves at the same time. <laughs> it was a br- like I wish you're not allowed cameras in cinema screens for obvious reasons for copyright and that. But if I was allowed, I would love to just film that reaction of two hundred odd people just. Mm being as scared as I am every time I play something scary. Would make for great marketing material for that company <laughs> if they had it. So look, uh, what about 71? Here we... Oh, that's what... Squirrel. <laughs> well, the first Paranormal Activity is actually, like, really... I was, like, creeped out by it because it's, like, so simplistic in the way the film is made. And the like the act again, it's like believable enough to think that everything that's going on, like actually, like you know, it, like it, it, it's what am I trying to say? Like it's so, you stop thinking it, thinking of it as a film, and you start just thinking of it. Of found it as, footage, like, genuine. That's the yeah, that's the footage, genre, yeah. isn't it? Found footage. So yeah, it's the same for the Blair Witch Project. I I generally love the Blair Witch Project film. I think it's really really good because it's like a low budget kind of like you know found footage effort, just like Paranormal Activity was. But the funny thing about that film is when they were making that as far as I'm aware is that the actors like were just put into the woods with a, like a bunch of tasks that they had to do for the film it's and they would film it, film it on their own accord. But like during the night and all that the film director would find where the tent was and like start shaking it and the poor what actors were like um, <laughs> like all the actors were like like hungry and cold and you know so they were getting like really involved in the emotion of what they're trying to film but getting like carried away. I know, like, we're just getting, like, more and more on this, and it's just some of the reactions you see of the actors in that film are, like, genuine. Uh, yeah. As I'm led to believe, it's great. Is that, like, the Kubrick approach with, uh, with yeah, The yeah, Shining, yeah, isn't it? Just break your actors down. <laughs> just crush them. Rudan has a good tip for uh, dealing with uh, with scary films. Just mm-hmm. leave, leave the discs or <laughs> whatever it's on. Just leave it somewhere. Just abandon it. It says, yeah... Took the disc out of my PlayStation, made my way to the nearest carrier bag, put it and uh, put it in, and walked outside of the house. There we go. Just, just <laughs> bin the shit. I agree. Oh, I've, <laughs> I've missed a damn squirrel. Look at this. This is this is some ropey, ropey crack on here. Camera one. There we go. I'm gonna print that out. Nina can enjoy looking at that and watch me waste our squirrel finding budget. I guess that squirrel's off to the left. She's gonna be like, no, oh, you haven't, you haven't managed it. Here we go. And what's your crack on, Nina? All open. That's not what I'm looking for. I don't even see any squirrels here. 
Yeah, man. Jesus. I'm, I think I'm she... going to be... Th I'm going to be like three years into this squirrel finding expedition and not have found a single squirrel or where it goes. She's a patient lady. <laughs> yeah, I know. The, the worst thing is she's like, she's Which waited a whole day and this is what I show her. I show her like one frame. It's like, you know, I may as well be finding Bigfoot. <laughs> no, no. Right, hang on. Well, maybe that's where the jump scare is going to come from. You're going to be tracking a squirrel and, uh, you know, Bigfoot comes out of nowhere. Surprise! That's how I find Bigfoot. I feel these guys are going over here. Actually, I know this, so why don't I just move both the cameras and hope to catch them? I wish I had a third camera. That would really help. Boom. Right. Look at this. Uh, I, 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 I don't know, like, Jim, I think you might be wrong about how this game looks. It's starting to, like, really grow on us. It's, uh, well, it's the colours are changed a little bit as well. <gasps> oh, the mother lord, lads! I found the squirrel. Look, I found the dre. That is no, James, you're wrong. There you go. Forgot about dre. There you go. I think that's the crack on. Right, Nina is going to be so happy with my work. Imagine if she's like, "You're fired. Took you. It took you a week to find a fucking squirrel. You are useless." So, um, I'm curious as to why, when you sit down to make, I'm guessing this is one of, this might be their debut game, it might be a couple games along for this team, why this would be the game you choose to make. Not to say, not, not, not meaning much. that in a kind of a critical way, or kind of like, oh, why would you make this, but more of a kind of, like, w what's the actual story behind wanting to make a game about, you know, taking video footage of squirrels? <laughs> It's an odd choice. I'll I'll give you that. Look at him. Oh, look at him. He's having a great little time. Chinned it. Completed the game. Speed run. There you go. Found the squirrel. Um, <laughs> it's a, it's an interesting it's an interesting choice. And I guess there's maybe nothing. Yeah. 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 yeah like long, long play games has got it. Like yeah. What, what was the inspiration? I'm I'm just like. Were, were they squirrel watchers before this and they wanted to re, you know, like six years spent as a grad student watching squirrels? <laughs> Have you seen that onion sketch where it's, um, my man, man wastes his life studying ant eaters for like 15 years or something? No. <laughs> it's just a daft little sketch, but it was dead funny. I'm gonna, <laughs> look at that. Pride and joy, that goes up there. Oh man, how many photos have I wasted? Yeah. Oh, I missed. Yeah, Rudan might be on it. Maybe they, maybe it evolved from a fondness for bird watching. It's curious. And they were like, "What's the one way of bird watching can get more exciting?" And like, imagine if you could watch squirrels, <laughs> and then they just went, "Oh my god, there's a game." I got as so much of the marketing graph of like birds on hot right now, guys, but squirrels are exploding. I took, I took that, I took that literally. I don't know why. It's just like, oh my god, there's a. <laughs> this is the mystery of the game. These squirrels, once I find them, actually explode. <laughs> the metrics on birds are down. You've got to yeah. go for squirrels, guys. Squirrels are so in right now. It's like uh, <laughs> that's just the that's just marketing, marketing, market research has shown us that uh, squirrels are the hot new rodent, which is a phrase I never <laughs> thought I'd say. Okay, back what to the squirrel quiz. Which <laughs> is the fastest breed of squirrel with okay. a speed of thirty-two kilometers per hour? Ooh. Does this include marmosets and chipmunks like before? Could we have it multi-choice, please, James? Uh, no, because I've only got one answer up here. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and you don't know any other squirrels. Uh, hang on, I'm hang on, hang red. on. I'll, I'll give you uh, alpine marmot again. <laughs> the Siberian <laughs> chipmunk. All right. Uh, and the third one, which is the answer, because this hang is, we've on. heard the other two before. Hang you on. Look. I'm gonna get. I'm gonna get more. Uh, uh, right, there are way too many squirrels. <laughs> well, not in this game, there aren't. Right, I'll tell you what. Squirrel families, Joe, for you, includes tree squirrels, ground squirrels, chipmunks, marmots, including groundhogs, flying squirrels, and prairie dogs. They're all squirrels. So, when you say ground squirrels, you mean that they like are native to the, the ground, right? They're not like beef. Something like ground beef, right? <laughs> we're, not, we're not looking at like minced squirrels here, right? 
No, that's, yeah, it's just it's it's a it's a minced squirrel. Just squirrel meat. It's um, born minced. Let's have them again. Have a. I can't move. Yeah, I think Rudin makes up a good point as well. Like foxes are pretty popular at the minute, but um, I wonder if they exceeded the uh, fox quota. The, <laughs> the fox quota, <laughs> exactly. Yeah, hey, I'm getting a good upwards angle on that one. Yeah, <laughs> foxes <laughs> are everywhere. <laughs> Ground squirrels. Uh, We're not allowed to call them minced squirrels. I can't, I can't even say squirrels. Uh, for the fastest squirrel question, James, I'm going to go with the Siberian squirrel. Uh, well, actually, Chipmunk. I didn't give you the answer. Uh, sorry. Or uh, which I'll just give you the answer because it's the third one. Yeah. It's the eastern grey squirrel. Whoa, I was going to say grey squirrel, you know, just as a guess. Because uh, I only know grey or red. <laughs> so, you know. Which only weighs between 400 and 600 grams. That is... You could launch an eastern grey squirrel really far if you threw it. <laughs> you <can> rupee, <laughs> rupee well, they can jump pretty really far the on their own, so if you can kind of combine oh, their no. jump with your throw, if you could get them to jump as you throw them, you could use them as, like, darts. You can, like, have it on your hand. they're aren't the squirrels? Like, they're good at jump well, the, the flying ones as well. You could get a... Oh, yeah, you could get them far, couldn't you? Squirrel tossing, that's the new game. No, we can't. We can't say tossing in this stream after we've had enough innuendo as it is. <laughs> um, Albrecht have, uh, and uh, Kai it... Bab squirrels. Oh, that, that these are names I can get wrong. <laughs> Albrecht. What Albrecht. makes them? What makes them mean? That's what I want to know. <laughs> they're yeah. just really offensive. They're, they're like just, edge lords. They're just, they're just really rude. <laughs> if you try, if you if you try on some new clothes, these squirrels are like, look shit. That's like, looks, you look terrible on that. Yeah. And they've, had, they've, like, all had their, they, they've both had their Twitter account suspended as well. They're all like, rough night's sleep. I'm like, no, I slept really well. What do you mean? <laughs> they're just bitchy squirrels. <laughs> I love the idea that there's just the, the Albrecht and Sassy Kaibab squirrels. squirrels. <laughs> yeah, they are just like, they, they don't like your Insta posts. They'd make a, a very scathing comment on them, though. <laughs> you put up a selfie and they just write, look shit. <laughs> Upgrade your face. <laughs> Upgrade your face. <laughs> I've got teeth that never stop growing, and your mouth is a mess. <laughs> is that? I thought this was the tree I was meant to be looking at. Have you seen any squirrels here? Did I miss them? Oh man! Uh, you must have. Hang on. Oh no! He was. Oh, he was what, really? He was out early doors. Okay, so apparently these squirrels. Um... They chuck nuts at people and ravens. I can't that completely... is pretty mean. How do they? How so do they? On a second. How do they throw I, I, I a raven? I need to clarify something. Yeah. I was how say. do they throw Are ravens? They throw nuts and ravens, or they? Oh, they throwing nuts? nuts at people and ravens. Yeah. What? And why just? Why just ravens? No, they also throw <laughs> cats out of trees. Which uh, can we? Uh, <laughs> can we have some footage of that? Because that feels like I'm going to stop WWE. watching this stream. Yeah, I'm just, just going to start researching Albrecht and kebab squirrels. Can Kab we have a Kabab squirrels. squirrels? Do they go with the do they go with the ground squirrels? Yeah. That's how you make a kebab squirrel. You get ground squirrel. <laughs> Can I have a kebab squirrel with some garlic sauce, please? <laughs> Would it not be a satay? Would you not want some I'm gonna say it, nut sauce? <laughs> the other so hang on, these mean these mean squirrels are throwing nuts at mean birds as well. Is it just this ongoing Argument between ravens and squirrels. There's an ongoing turf <laughs> war, guys. You, you're gonna have to look at that link and uh, tell me what they look like and how Go outrageously mean what, they look. What do the ravens throw back at the squirrels? That's what I want to know. <laughs> oh man, snazzy, he looks yeah. quite snazzy, actually. He does he? actually. I'm not gonna lie. Oh man, he looks are... like Paul Phoenix from Tekken. <laughs> oh, I wish I could see these what? squirrels right now. <laughs> I said it, it looks nothing like Paul Phoenix from Tech. <laughs> what, what does that even mean? I, I, can't, I, wish, I, I wish I wasn't on the game right now. I could look at this uh, at this flipping Tech and Squirrel. It does look like he's put a bit of dye in his uh, tail, though. Really? It looks kind of like halfway between a uh, squirrel and a skunk, skunk doesn't it? Mm hmm. He's got like, like one of the pictures. He's got like his uh, his, his nut ready to throw at somebody. Excuse me. <laughs> he's ready he's to nut. nut. Is that what you're <laughs> trying to tell us? Archie? He's ready to nut. Yeah. <laughs> Gotta be careful. He's in Buster's nut though. Oh Jesus. Uh, 
I feel like someone should be getting some camera footage on this raven squirrel cat war in the Grand Canyon region. Yeah, it sounds like that... the, maybe David Attenborough can get over there with the BBC and start uh, filming maybe some. It's... Well, maybe that, it's that's a documentary. Trying. I think we all need to see. Mm -hmm. But maybe it's too dangerous to approach. Like, I mean, no one wants a nut thrown in their face. Hmm. No. Did I miss the? Oh, I've got him right. Look where he's going there, off to the left of <laughs> picture one. Is the phone called the nut job? It doesn't sound like something. Something I would want to watch. <laughs> is is this the kind of film they talk about in Nuts magazine? Is a, in <laughs> uh, it's, apparently, it's about squirrels performing a heist to get nuts. Oh right. Is that is that legit? So Are you just making that up? No, Rudin Sprite said it. Unless he's making it up. Ah, oh, yeah. Sorry, I was watching. I was watching the cameras. Right, well, a heist film about like squirrels. Uh, I do. I do have to say, I'm the like one person in the world. And I'm getting into it now. Big spoiler. You, you two lads know this already. But I'm like mm -hmm. the one person in the world who doesn't actually really like films that much, and I don't really like going to the cinema. Not just because I work there. And I quote, "It's too dusty." It's <laughs> cinema. Cinema. Large cinema screens have a lot of dust hanging in the air. And I really and I really don't like how much dust shows up on the projection, and people think. Hashtag get rid of that dust. Get get that dust out of there. Don't Hashtag, worry if you don't have a clue what Joe's going on about because we haven't had a clue for years. I, I just I just feel like there's there's like a speckliness in the fidelity of uh, cinema screenings caused by the dust that just lingers in the air, and I just I, it, it 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 finds. I just find it unwatchable, uh, so I don't really like going to the cinema unless I have to. So yes. I, I, did, I did not see the film Nut Job in the cinema, <laughs> and I probably well probably I didn't see it either, it. but it wasn't because of dust. No, <laughs> I just didn't see it. <laughs> oh, here we go with the Nut Job. Um, it does have a very you know generous twelve percent on Rotten Tomatoes. Ooh, that Double is unreal. Figures. Well, this was probably when squirrels were in vogue, you know. So no, I mean if they re-released it now. We'd yeah, be, yeah, like twenty percent rotten now tomato that squirrel, rating. Now that squirrels mm -hmm. are so hot, uh, you know, John Williams would be doing the score. <laughs> so Will Arnett voiced, um, who I'm guessing is the male squirrel, who's obviously called Surly. But I've got to be honest, Will Arnett's got a really annoying face. <laughs> <laughs> but that squirrel's it... just taken in the view, long play. He found himself a good spot to perch. <laughs> that was like a photo shoot of the, like like a model squirrel, didn't it? Which one? The one we're looking at now. I'm uh, missing out on all of this. A... Click on the link, and it looks like it's like for I oh, don't know, sorry. like I Squirrel Lifestyle magazine. Oh, I really want to. <laughs> I am. I'm. Go I'm gonna have to go back through the chat after all this and click these links. I'm having a pot around the forest. I've got lost trying to look the... at sexy photos of squirrels. The squirrel Could on the you've climbed up that tree. I feel like you had the chance. No, not that one. No, no not I don't think you can the, climb up any. I just, I just jumped up this rock thing. Yeah, yeah, but then look at the size of that tree, man. You can jump. That is that a tree. that is a good, a good climbing tree, isn't it? Um, it is. maybe this is a proper Newcastle thing, but would we call oh that like my a God, sort? Oh, I'm up, oh. I'm up the tree. I'm up the tree. What's going on? Pro gamer right, moves. You're up yeah. a height. I'm, I'm this up is where this is where the jump scare happens. Nah, I'm not. I'm not going back up the tree now. You said jump scare. Oh, crack on. I'm going back to my thing. This has got a nice, uh, actually, well, playing it. I know you, you two lads are just watching I'm playing, but it's got a nice little, like, just the puzzle, like, work out where the squirrel goes, come back. It's got an actually canny loop. I think you'll, uh, I think well, you might actually enjoy to, the puzzle um, of it. Except for the graphics. One plays uh, Link here. I'm not surprised that there's maybe a bit of a battle going on between the squirrels and the ravens, but these birds do look pretty menacing. Vulture tree. Oh, there's a little squirrel Turkey pottering vultures. off. So, Bloody hell, they are scary looking things then. Long play is right. I do have a, mm -hmm. I do have a, a question. Maybe it's a bit too personal, but where are you located? Long play where they have such vicious squirrels. You said, mm -hmm. did you say it was a Texas based thing, Jimmy? Did you say in your uh, research? Grand Canyon, so that would Grand be, Canyon, uh, so that's uh, uh, the southwest states. Arizona. 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 Utah. Is it? 
Flagstaff's Arizona, right? You're the Yotes fan, James, you tell me. I am the Yotes fan. Let's... Say, so, I haven't... I was in Flagstaff for over 20 years. Southern New Mexico. I hope I don't okay. drown and lose the game here. Um, <laughs> you died. <laughs> nice, uh, it's a nice part of the world from what I remember a couple of years ago when uh, when we could uh, move around in that and uh, have a little drive around. We were allowed outside. When we were allowed outside and we could uh, and we'd get on planes uh, across the across the pond to uh, to nice places. Now we just have to live vicariously through squirrel watching. <laughs> and uh, and really, we might maybe, maybe we just want to just give up this whole indie bandits thing and start a, like a squirrel affiliate thing mm -hmm. because I feel a lot of us uh, squirrel. I feel bandits. we're enjoying talking about squirrels more than we are playing this game. And you know what? Maybe this is why these guys thought they should make this game. They were like, "Well, yeah, you know maybe we have a lot of fun chatting." They were like, "We've had so much but fun chatting about squirrels." Oh, there he goes. <sighs> Long place got it. Squirrel bandits, right? Buy the domain. Get open your credit card, Archie, and we'll get squirrelbandits.com right now. If that already exists, <laughs> I'm joining that site no matter what it is. And you're all welcome, everybody as well. Everyone, to join in. everyone coming. <laughs> can't believe <laughs> I can't on, believe. Capture that butterfly. I can barely capture the squirrels, and all I'm doing is trying to film them. Don't don't. All right, guys, I've got a really good squirrel fact here. <laughs> You kind of started off by saying that. No, no you're not like it. You've, you've, set the, you've, set like the, it. you've upped the ante too much. In it. Greek, the word squirrel means shadow tail. That's Ooh, awesome. Admit, that's pretty good. That's pretty, pretty good. Cool. Shadow tail is a pretty awesome. That that I want to change all my usernames to shadow tail. <laughs> it also sounds like somebody who would hang out with Sonic. Oh Jesus, yeah. If you were gonna have the squirrel as a main character in your story, you'd call him Shadow Tail. Hmm. <gasps> Squirrel Bandit exists. Guys, you have to check out squirrelbandit.co.uk. Let us let us know if we want to try and like take them to court and say they can't just hang around on this uh, URL that we Why? deserve. It's a, it's a gift card. It's handmade gift cards. Gift, gifts and cards, sorry, in Yorkshire. What's that got to do with squirrels? I mean, I guess there's no a lot idea. squirrels in Yorkshire. There isn't one picture of a squirrel on it. There's a, a cactus, a flower, and a bumblebee. Ah, he's gone between those rocks. Right, I'm on this squirrel. Ah, well, you know what? They should be paying us for the for the promotion now. I feel I, I don't want this to become a Twitter feud, but I might tweet them tomorrow if they've got a, a Twitter. Oh, just yeah, like... Please make it a Twitter feud. Just Long play, you bang, on, you bang on the money. It's a, it's a travesty, and uh... we could really turn this into a cat squirrel <laughs> raven situation. Yeah, I think. Uh, yeah, so Long play says that the squir squirrel, uh, was it squirrelbandits.co.uk, has nothing yeah. to do with squirrels or bandits. Mm -hmm. Ooh, have I found False it? advertising. Dude came through here. Yeah, I'm gonna. Uh, I like the point Rudin sprites brings up here. <laughs> we're, doing, we're, taking, we're taking pictures of squirrels, and he's currently dr growing tomatoes in Stardew Valley. It, it really shows a shift in the type of games that are coming out now, I think. <laughs> Long gone are the days of, like, terrorist plots in Call of Duty, and now things are a bit more chill. Yeah, it's, uh... It, I think this is what we need, though, but this is... Maybe this is... I don't know when they started production for this, but I imagine... Our development, sorry. I imagine this was far earlier than the whole pandemic and everything. But it's probably come out at a good time when people can't go out. Uh, you know, like, I, I would love to just have a pot around the park. Uh, over here, I'm, I'm quite free to head out in that. And I do have some, like, nature on the doorstep. But the idea of just, like, not having to throw on the mask and all that would be would be quite nice. Like, to go back to our local park oh, and yeah. spot some squirrels after all this is over. Shadow you know what? Tales, I might just do that. Shadow Tales, I might just do yes. that tomorrow. The mighty Shadow Tales. You, you know what? You are going to be out in the park tomorrow, Archie. And be like, you're going to be like, I wonder where that squirrel's oh. going. Is he off to his dream? Hey, I'm just going to ask the chat something. So, uh, 
um, Root and Sprouts in a long place, since you've brought up Goldeneye, I'm just curious to whether you saw the footage that got leaked recently of the uh, the Goldeneye reboot that was finished but never got made. <laughs> like, if you know what I mean, it was finished but they never released it. Goldeneye was such a good game. Mm -hmm. It has not aged well, by the way. Uh, <laughs> I went back to it not so long ago and you're like, after, after years of playing like the like yeah. first person shooters with like the twin stick layout it's yeah. really weird playing on that monstrosity which i have a really soft spot for but that monstrosity of a controller that the n64 had well it's curious though because um it was being remade i think it was being remade by oh, shit, I, oh, I don't know it might be been by rare the original guys or something like that but i think it fell into kind of like uh who owns the rights dispute at one point and maybe it was about you know when like skyfall was coming out now gm was like in a bit of trouble and i'm sure the rights of like james bond like went into a bit of a i don't know like got a, got a bit messy or something like nobody you know, knows maybe it was before, sure. why don't yes, you just why don't you investigate a little bit further yeah because yeah i mean you i guess probably go all the way down that and i then, just can't remember know, if you went down here and uh I, mean, I don't think there's know, anywhere else for him to go, don't they? But, well, there's the rope, so he probably doesn't go past that. And we'll just pot him down there. <laughs> Stay in your lane, James, eh? I'm spotting squirrels here. You're looking yeah, up who's the taking you 15 squirrel. days to find us. I know. I know. I'm just... I'm, just I'm, in, I'm enjoying the chat. This is a this is a nice, chill-out game. We're not in any rush. I told you, this game is about four and a half hours long, according to reports online. So, uh, you know, don't don't want don't want people to see too much of it. I want them to get the idea, and then they can, you know, decide for themselves. I don't want them to, you know, I don't want to show them the set where the second squirrel lives, really, you know. And uh, we're just having a nice, we're just having a nice chat. Actually, they want to eradicate all the squirrels. Yeah, you're actually working for an awful organization. Long, long playing Rudan, <laughs> Actually, yeah. getting some. Do you want to read that out, Archie? Did you? Uh, were you Which one we're looking at? Sorry. Ru Rudan and Long Plays, uh, classic, classic Goldeneye bands. <laughs> but yeah, like uh, I lost we were going to make this remake, but it was finished apparently, but it never came out because the rights to the franchise of James Bond or the game itself or oh. something got really messy. I'm pretty the game's done somewhere, or very, very close to being done, but. No, just we'll probably never see see it ever ever come out. Ever ever. Uh, I doubt it. Ever, like ever. unless somebody who owns the rights. Like ever ever. We'll sort that out. I don't think we need to. We need to have more outcast references in our on our streams, James. I think that's uh, something we're going to have to start including now. We've set precedent. <laughs> Miss Jackson is a tune like. Just need to put that out there. It is. <clears throat> it's, I think I've worked I bet out. It's, I bet it's it's just it'll be just to the left of where you set up that other camera. No, you're wrong. He potted off to the right. I think he did. Oh no, did he go left? Yeah. I already forgot. Yeah, it's gonna be in here. <gasps> Sneaky. Oh, sneaky! James the Motherlord. Look at that! All the dynamite he's got there. I thought it was macaroni. <laughs> Look, all these nuts and some dynamite and some matches. <laughs> Do I? Hang on, do you actually explode the squirrels in this game? Oh, oh I hope not. Get ready for some ground squirrels. <laughs> or are the squirrels planning a heist of their own? The nut job? Oh wait, no, was it just nut job, right? <laughs> Straight on this. <laughs> He's got canny big home, doesn't he, for a squirrel? <laughs> MI5 MI needs to hear about this. Longplay did mention, I'm making his joke by the way, if, if it's a he, sorry. Uh, long play, I'm stealing your joke. But uh, <laughs> you said that squirrel needs to be reported to Homeland. But I felt since we were talking about Goldeneye, we could uh, we could get some espionage. Is it MI5 that runs James Bond? You know what I mean. You know what I mean. <laughs> use, use sentences and that. Use your words, Joe. You know what I mean. Uh, it, 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 MI6, isn't it? Is it MI6? Or M yes. I think MI5 is the real one and MI6 is the fake James Bond one. Yeah, Someone fake. tell me. I don't. I, I haven't seen a James Bond film in a long, long time. Right, get ready for this. Get ready for this. It'd be so funny if they were having a little meeting, like little little squirrel <laughs> Al Qaeda <laughs> meeting. 
<laughs> but there were a lot of tuxedos as well. <laughs> oh, I need to press play, don't I? Sorry. <laughs> Here we go. This is this is this is what you've been waiting an hour. Tonight for. we destroy the caravan, Brian. <laughs> Tonight. So this is the this is the uh, the kebab squirrel and the uh, Albrecht squirrel. They're like we've had enough of the ravens. This is how we get them. No man, it's your caravan. They're gonna blow. Up. They've been tricking you. They made you follow it, and you're actually gonna watch your own demise on camera, Joe. <laughs> Here we go. Come on. Oh, right. I bet you. We're actually gonna blow these fellas up. No, I assume someone else is blowing something up and researching the squirrels has led us to it oh here we go nina I wonder get if, like, ready the for the scoop the of, of the century is that you've actually managed to stop a terrorist <laughs> plot because the squirrels actually keep finding dynamite squirrel oh, you go on. right here we go it's a squirrel yes I, you're researching them jesus <laughs> oh does my she, god i really hope does she really think here. the squirrels are doing this like, I think we were being just silly, right? But I think this is the main plot, long play. Uh, this isn't, I don't think this is the hidden plot. This is just the second squirrel I've been looking after. I found one squirrel and then she was like, go find a second squirrel. I've got a lead on a tree. What is happening? No, now this game's what getting is... trippy. Did I? <laughs> it says day one again. We're back to day one i'm elsewhere i is this going to be a thing where it's like a time travel plot or something really like of left field thrown in yeah simon dropped you off Great. that's appreciating simon um secret squirrels long play the uh nuts is not about squirrel terrorists or it's secret squirrels if if anyone's old enough to get that reference i get i guess <laughs> So, what is the project? There's layers to this story. Yeah, so we've got a new colour. We're back to day one. I probably should have been listening to what she's been saying on the phone. And she sent us some... Mission briefing? I'm meant to be a researcher? Like a, a student? Is this going to end up with, like, you have to, like, assassinate the president or something goes, like that? It goes all the way up to the squirrel president. Squirrel president. <laughs> Find the secret squirrel stash. <laughs> you pull, like, the mask off the president, there's a big squirrel head underneath it. <laughs> yeah. George Bushy tail. Oh, excellent. Excellent. <laughs> nah. Nah, we wah, can't come wah. back. We can't come back from that. <laughs> oh. Oy, oy, oy. Right. <laughs> <laughs> How deep does this squirrel stash go? Asks Long Play Games. The, the thing is, it's the ones out. that are enriching uranium you need to worry about. Dynamite's a mugs game. Ugh. The squirrel in this area tends to visit the same place every night. We need a photograph of the squirrel arriving at their stash for our data analysis. I thought that's what I was doing anyway. Follow the squirrel with your cameras. Take a uh, play. Ugh. Follow the squirrel. I can't even speak. <laughs> Follow. Bushy tail with your camera. Place cameras along her path. Take a photo of the squirrel with the stash. Fax it to Nina. Await extraction. Extraction. Bloody heck. This is unreal. Man. You got to put one of those parachute kind of get... things on it, like uh, from Metal Gear, where it just launches it into the oh, sky. Oh, the Fulton, the Fulton <laughs> recovery <laughs> system. Yeah. 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 I think uh, I need to find me cameras in that, don't I? Oh, there's me. There's my Found them. deliveries. <laughs> I, I still get the same. I still get the same gadgets. Double camera setup. There we go. Right. Got to go to the tree and then find out where they, where they crack on. Uh, I guess it's that tree. I'm gonna get a wide shot. To get all photographic. There we go. I know. I'll probably want the ground, won't I? Because that's where he's going to see which direction the pot is off in. <laughs> What's in the third box? Another camera. Oh my god. This <laughs> is big time. Box? 
this is big time now. We've got the we've got the triple camera set up that we were looking for. There's the tree, right? I'm thinking they're gonna just potter down here anyway, so I'll just focus on that. And then in case they don't, I'll point another camera another way. Oi, oi, oi. Right. Does someone actually have this job in real life? Because that wouldn't be the worst job in the world. I'd like you it. Mean, like, I'm, I'm not just very not necessarily for squirrels, but like just you know chilling in a caravan in the woods, taking pictures of stuff. And yeah, I think so. You know, Perverts, you under, under <laughs> researching, I don't know, squirrel or other rodent plots against the government. It's kind yeah. of fun. I don't. I, uh, Long play says now that you, now you've got the big funding to go after Big Nut. I don't think we should. Uh, I don't think we should call him <laughs> Big Nut. <laughs> uh, we, we we did promise at the t start of the stream that we'd uh, try and avoid the innuendo, but uh, don't know if we can don't don't know if we can call him Big Nut. Can't call him Solid Nut either if we're going to stick with the <laughs> oh, liquid nut. liquid nut. <laughs> oh no, no, I thought Solid was bad. Yeah. Oh no, that's disgusting. Have we even seen a squirrel? Am I even looking at the right tree? Hang on, how do VCRs work again? Oh, oh yes. there he, he is, man. Donors. Did you see his... He has, yeah. He proper psyched you out and went the other way, didn't he? He's like, ah, Muppet set up the cameras in the wrong place. I've <laughs> been done by the squirrel. <laughs> Mug. <laughs> Off I go. Right. I'm big nut, man. You didn't screw with me. <laughs> right. Uh, he starts leaving feet. threatening notes in the caravan. Uh, maybe he goes down this way. That's Bottle where you still of can. What what uh, what we did you do photography as a job long play or was it more of a hobby? Or are you talking in character? <laughs> <laughs> because we seem to have built a, oh, an extended okay. universe. That sounds amazing. That job, just taking pictures of landscapes. Profitable hobby. I like that as a. Uh, mm. as all a, jobs. As a all jobs should be a profitable <laughs> hobby. Yeah. I think anyone anyone doing game dev, mm. you want you want that first adjective to become true because the hobby <laughs> side of it probably makes it very enjoyable. Mm. Oh, I've missed the bastard again. Look, he's done us. Look, there he is in camera three. It's like that's where you Which thought. One looks going. like uh, one of them kebab squirrels. <laughs> camera three, off I go. Right. Oh, I don't know which... Oh, wait, they're numbered on me. My jigs. Right. Should have probably put camera one somewhere as well. Do, like, a bit of a... I am no good at photography, like, but... <clears throat> do like it. If I had places to go, I'd probably oh, still be taking pictures. Uh, cousin and me mum are oh, both rather good at it. They do do it sort of professionally. As long, uh... Oh, that's, uh... That's a shame, long play. Is, uh... Yeah, I'm sorry to hear that. But uh, I mean, I guess in a way you might have had the uh, mm -hmm. you might have had the the last laugh because no no one had a very good 2020 either. So oh, this squirrel, oh, it's doing me nutting. Oh, yeah, yeah, there we go. Oh. Da, 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 da. Right, he's on camera three. And he... So is camera one just like looking off in the wrong direction? Oh no, he's in camera one now. Sorry, I forgot how the cameras were. Oh no, that's because I'm Off rewinding it. God damn it. Have I been playing this backwards the whole time? <laughs> Hang on. Oh, maybe he hasn't mugged us off. Maybe... Right, he's in camera three. Oh no, and then he runs back. Ah, right. Camera two needs to point slightly to the right of camera one. And I've got... God, this is... Oh, this is... So he came out. Getting tense, pal. I know, I know. I'm waiting for the jump scare now that you've all made me believe I'm gonna get. Right, he's he, look. He comes out here. You have a deliverance style situation here. <laughs> oh no. I, I, I have. I don't. I don't know that reference. And I don't want him. You. <laughs> deliverance is like. I want. It's the holiday that seems like it's gonna be the most fun, but ends up with the, like it's the biggest catastrophe. It's, the ending's awful. <laughs> did you show me that film, James? I think you did. I don't know if I showed you. I might have told you about it. <laughs> it is a good film, though. It is. The it's duel and banjo scene is pretty cool. It's tragic, though, at the end. <laughs> oh, I've 
Lost the squirrels. That camping trip, mm. wasn't it? <laughs> How do your camping trips go? What, Siri? I said, how do your camping trips usually go? Mine go like that. <laughs> right. <laughs> right, I feel yeah, it. Well, as long as you enjoy them, pal. I didn't know there was any other way for a camping trip to go. <laughs> oh, here comes the deranged psychopath with a gun again. <laughs> Typical day in the woods. <laughs> oh, God. Got the sucker, right? Oh, there you go. Now you know. I know. We well, yeah. are. I think uh, Rudin Sprites is right. Like 2021's off to a flying start. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You know what? Hey. I, I just, I just go with. You know what? End, end in sight, sort of. It's like. I hope so. If you've, uh, if you've, <laughs> if you've done something that's like really annoying, like a half marathon. Uh, or a marathon or any sort of like long distance grueling event there is definitely a moment right towards the end where you're like sod it i don't want to go anymore <laughs> this is a, this is a stupid idea and it's definitely around the uh the end of your uh your run and i think that's where we're at we're at that point where you're like you know what i've done like 80 percent of this marathon I, I, I can be proud of myself just give up here but you go on and i think that's mm. where we're where we're at now. Oh, look at him. He's he's still running. He's doing his little squirrel marathon. Oh, he's up on that rock. Look at him. Can you see him in, in <laughs> camera one? Cheeky bastard. I'm just laughing at our long play story. Yeah. It's, it's some dark <laughs> comedy that I like. <laughs> I like it though. It's like, hi. One <laughs> I'm, I'm going to read it out if you don't mind long plays. This is quite good for the audio. So my son and I were camping out in the area around Sedona and a bunch of drunk kids in a car showed up and had this loud party in the valley below us. At about 1 a.m., when it was winding down, my son and I set the deliverance tune to our text notification and we snuck down to the opposite sides of their camp and played it back and forth for a little bit. They freaked out, packed up, and hauled ass out there at 1 a.m. Brilliant. <laughs> that is excellent. Oh, man. Yeah, I'm going to have to find this. Ah, oh, he's up. He's up. Not for height. Get that squirrel. Right. Little rock in camera one. I'm sure there's another game that has a similar similar mechanic to this, uh, where you've got to, like work out where things are based where they are on cameras. Is it is it five for the Five Nights at Freddy's, Archie? Are you? I've never played that. I think that game you're you're in a stationary position and you're swapping between yeah you're lots swapping of different between cameras, yeah. security cams. I've never played. I, it, I think he was I, on this I, rock I, being I'm a dick. Come on. You know what? I am I'm really getting invested in how much I hate these squirrels. Oh, they're having me get up these big rocks and that. This is this is dangerous. I did not sign up for this. Actually, uh, I, I don't think it's phasmophobia, but speaking of that game, as just in reference to what Longplays just said, I think that game does have a lot of similarities to this one, but instead of hunting, you know... Ghosts. Um, terrorist squirrels, you're hunting ghosts. Take that I do want to play that plant game the flag though. Anyway. Yeah. Capture the flag. On the big rock, Joe. I can run as well. Sorry, I've just discovered this. Sorry, guys. Could have saved us a lot of time. There but, you go. But right there. No, no one, no one wanted Claim me that to. that rock in the name of squirrel bandits. Anti squirrels, squirrel <laughs> bandits. That that flag now reads squirrel bandits. I guess dot com. Because dot co dot uk is taken by some kind of cake making crack on. Here we go. This is this is where the big spoilers revealed. Look at the flag. Look at camera three. Enjoy that crag on. Sure, there's somebody out there, Joe. Me? Because it's my rock. Something something else. What's something more human. Oh, he probably left. Look at, oh, did he come back into camera three there for a bit? Let's see. I thought he popped in. No, he did not. Where did he disappear from? From camera two. Over the oh. edge. Oh, he's come back. Look at him in camera three. That's that 15 meter jump they can do or whatever he said. Probably not 15 meters. That seems like a ridiculously long distance. So he jumps off to the <coughs> right of camera three. Let's get this. Yes, well, well spotted long player. We've got this. We've got this. I'm going to get the bastard now. 
I will catch. I'm feeling this is a. It's like old Saturday morning cartoons, isn't it? It's getting like, oh, I'll catch him. I'll get him this time. Like, was it catch the pigeon? Catch the pigeon. I remember that. Okay, it says this camera. No, this is camera two. I don't need camera two anymore, do I? It was. Oh, he jumped off to the east of. He jumped off here, didn't he? Maybe up there. Oh god, damn it! How I can't. Did he not jump down? Uh, he Where's just jumped off shot of camera three, which I think is this one here. Look, so here's camera three. We were. No, see, he didn't. He left off to the east, so I think he's jumped over here, like onto that thing. I thought you. All right. Because that because there's no way he's just jumping down. I think he's gonna do something ballsy and just like really make mugs of us. He's like, look, he's can't jump that far. You're gonna have to find a really long, annoying way around to like get onto this. That's how they get you. That's how they get you. They take their squirrely route, and I have to take my researcher route, which aren't the same routes. Here we go. Right. I think I've worked it out. I think I've worked it out now that my pro squirrel researcher. <laughs> I think in the next cave we're going to find a big stash of uh, like RPGs and AK-47s. I hope in the next cave we find something less, less like deadly and just something more comical like you know like clown noses and shoes unless they've got them from <laughs> clowns they've blown up with the dynamite all right place your bets long play has us uh drugs money or weapons what you reckon all, lads? Three. All, three. all three all three this is a this these is are a squirrels king, after all kingpin squirrel right Scoffy squirrel. Yeah, a squirrel with its head like buried in a mound of cook. <laughs> oh, there he is in camera one. Look at him. Oh, there's two of them. They're in cahoots. Look, double squirrels. There's one coming off the, the right side of camera one. Number Squirrel number two. Look, two of them on that big rock. Right, they're between those trees, having a little squirrel meeting. Is there a third one in shot? It's a clandestine squirrel meeting in the middle of the night. Right. I want to know what Nina has to think about this. She's going to be like, that's not where the squirrels go. Whoa, that's surprising. They don't usually congregate like this. That's what I was thinking, Nina. I was thinking squirrels having a meeting in the middle of the night. During the day, you'd be like, that's a normal, regular squirrel meeting, but in the middle of the night, it's suspect. I'll probably ask the first one when I interrogate him. <laughs> you're electrocuting him in a tiny in it with it like you're electrocuting him in his nuts. Maybe that's where this game title comes from. Yeah. It's a particular awesome. type of torture. Was it in camera one I could see him and uh no, no. Camera three definitely didn't have it. It was camera one where we spotted them all. I've got to get back up this rock. <laughs> Sorry, Did you read long place, place long place comment? Is yes, that true? I. All right, I'll just read it out the... for the sake of like. Uh, Hang on, look at this. Uh, so long yeah, place said, wasn't there some Soviet bear that got into a ketamine stash and became like Earth's apex predator briefly? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, but I really hope that's true. The the, re the I love the idea of just this like Russian techno bear <laughs> just like off his nut on ket and just like. <laughs> He's just like, I'll kill anyone who hate, who doesn't love hardcore. <laughs> he's, he's got loads of leather belts on. He's dancing in a gym Oh my god, I forgot somewhere. about the belts. Oh, the, it, it, wait, he turns into a belt lord. We, we should we should add, uh, for those who don't know, a belt lord is what we refer to, uh, how we refer to the classic JRPG protagonist who has so many belts and accessories all over their air uh, as part of their <laughs> outfit. Just the just, just over accessorization. Their outfit is purely accessories. Yeah. <laughs> and and oddly layered clothing as well. They they do love a bit of a design where it's like the jacket's way too small, but the t-shirt's massive. Or do you know what I mean? Like the outer the outer layer is far too tiny, and the the lower layers are like massive. It's like yeah. But thanks. He has long johns on, but tiny shorts. Belts. Oh, it was an American bear, and it was Coke. Apparently, uh, long play informs us. Really, uh, kilos of coke, bloody hell. It's like half my nightly consumption. <laughs> Is that why you're just a beta predator, James? <laughs> <laughs>
Pablo Escobar. That's good. Excellent. That is that is so good. Oh man. He, he might be friends with George Bushy Tail Archie. <laughs> Pablo es- 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 Escobar is definitely the uh, <laughs> the better. Got a bit tongue tied there, didn't I? Yeah. Oh, I'm just reading long oh, no. explanation of the bear's demise. I love that sentence. The animal was deemed to have suffered an un- uncomfortable end. Yeah, I think <laughs> anyone who like consumes an... 40 kilos of coke yeah. will probably meet a, an uncomfortable end. But I feel like uncomfortable end is really underplaying <laughs> what would have happened, considering the... the next list of things is cerebral hemorrhaging, <laughs> respiratory failure, hypothermia, renal failure, heart failure, and stroke. Yeah. Oh my god. Is I bet for like of... 30 seconds, though, that bear was having an absolutely mental time. <laughs> oh, I didn't really watch He's just <laughs> raving to himself like... Oh, wait, Pablo, the, the, the concert's over, and he's just like... <laughs> still throwing his paws around. Just throwing shapes. Just throwing... <laughs> Oh. oh my god. Right, I actually didn't pay attention to any of the cameras. I was <laughs> too too interested in Pablo Escobar. Oh, let's go see what these cameras catch. I know that's really tragic that this bear died from a drug overdose. And that's what I put. <laughs> the image of it just having like coke all over its nose. <laughs> it's, quite funny. It's, it's usually it's usually black <laughs> nose is just covered like that's completely covered white with coke. coke. And it's just like it's just telling you about its new app that it's developed, and it's really psyched about it or whatever. Yeah, it just won't stop talking. It's like, oh yeah, yeah, I've done this. Man, number three. There's man. loads of scribblings on the wall next to where it eventually <laughs> oh, died. Like Mark, oh, million I've dollar made, idea. I, yeah, I've written a novel just this morning. Like, off to the right of camera one, <laughs> and behind camera two. Definitely the highest predator. <laughs> nice. Zing. All right, I think we should. I think I'm I'm revealing a bit too much of this game. We've been. I was gonna we've say you're gonna flip the entire yeah. thing by the end of this. I know. I think, well, uh, I'm probably not at the rate I'm progressing, but. Uh, probably not. No. Said. No, it was off to the right of camera one. I need to work out. I think we'll do uh yeah, he potted off down here. Oh here's is this the stash? Is this the big big squirrel stash? In these in these is it timber? I guess, I guess it's timber. They've been logging. I'll just have a look just at the chewed, they've chewed down all those trees. With their ever growing teeth. <laughs> no, that was Pablo. Pablo just well, he was smacked. just on his on his massive high. He was just what like the colours that we're seeing now is probably the colours Pablo was seeing just before he, <laughs> he went out. The whole world went weird and purple. Yeah, maybe right, we P. maybe Pablo. we are Pablo Escobar. Maybe that's the big spoiler at the end of this game. <laughs> this is what Go he on. did in his final hours. He just went around <laughs> taking pictures of squirrels. Just researched squirrels. That's how off he's <laughs> nutty he was. Days straight without any sleep. <laughs> yeah. He also wrote three house albums during that time. <laughs> that would be excellent. It's... Gone but not forgotten it. Uh, Pablo Escobar. Alright, we'll see where this goes and probably. I, I forgot where I live now in this game because of the 40 kilos of coke I've just eaten. That's mental. I know, alright. I mean. Yeah, we can fire this up. <laughs> <laughs> Long player adds wrote, mixed, and mastered all three albums in the 30 minutes before it exploded. His finest work. R.I.P. Pablo Escobar. R.I.P. On but not forgotten. <laughs> Wait, were there two squirrels? Hang on. I just, I'm just playing this scenario in my head. I know. Now. I know. It's hard to this, on this house music bear. <laughs> Excellent. Nice girl. But it all happened in like a really short time span. <laughs> to him it felt like hours, but it was like 
three and a half minutes. <laughs> just imagine he just walked in a record studio, knew exactly what to do, and mastered like three amazing house albums. He didn't even. He didn't even. He didn't even like ask to come in. He just like slammed open the door and he's like, "Start rolling." Yeah, well, everyone would have run out because oh, it's a bear. <laughs> <laughs> they would have stopped, like, and he's just sat there like mixing rushing, all these tracks pushing the sliders up in that uh, going? oh I want to see a photoshop of this bear wearing like headphones and like... I know I know what what are we even on about it's been it's been uh... wild it's been a this is this has been a blast. I don't know how much we've spoke about the the game, but uh, <laughs> there's not but, much to say about it. That's no, not me having a go. You've got you've got the, you've got the thing. loop. You've got the loop, yeah. right? I think we know what the game's this about, game's right? This game's fantastic. This is it really could definitely do with this. some uh, techno bears in it, though. The thing is, uh, this is this is actually quite a good game to stream. I, I know this sounds sounds kind of weird, but when when we've been when we've been playing Hades. It was like it was too intense. There was too much like at stake. Like this, I think a game without a fail state. I assume it, it doesn't have a fail state. A game without a fail state is is quite is quite fun for the streams. I think we should. Uh, we might want to look into more of these mm-hmm. for future streams as well. Yeah. Uh, uh, before we log off, do you guys want to maybe give a shout out to Long Pablo. Play and Rudin. <laughs> obviously Pablo and Rudin. Like yeah. if you guys have got websites or anything, like maybe we can shout them out right now for you. That's a that is a, a very good idea, lads. Yeah, just uh, yeah, throw Rudin's uh, Rudin and Longplay. Let us know your uh, your socials, and we'll uh, we'll give you a cheeky shout out. This uh, this will this will go on the the YouTube channel as well for a couple of days uh, to watch it back. I think so, you should uh, definitely put the title of this um, YouTube or this live stream as Pablo Escobar. Pablo Escobar. Yeah. <laughs> oh, good. Pablo so, yeah, Escobar there's... meets George Bushy Tail. <laughs> Pablo, Escobar, es- Pablo Escobar versus George Bushy Tail. And uh, yeah, big, big shout out to Longplay Games and their game. Cygnus Pizza Race, hopefully pronounced that correctly. That is a that is in an hour wish list on Steam, because everyone who interacts with us on Twitter on Wishlist Wednesdays, and Screenshot Saturdays, uh, gets a retweet and added to our wish list, which for other devs should know the wish list is where I pick the games you may have missed, and also the games for the monthly demo disc articles. So it's a good idea. Just interact with us on that. Rudin Sprites is on Twitter as well. Uh, what I do know, uh, big love I'll tell uh, the lads now, because I was going through the Twitter DMs, some lovely words from Rudin in our DMs about our podcast. If you uh, if you want to read those. Fellow Brit as well. Uh, be funny if he was from the same side as the country, but that's... Uh, Away. That's not that. I doubt that's <laughs> the case. I don't know why. I just feel like other people from Newcastle don't exist on the internet, or they don't let us on for obvious reasons. Well, thank you and, for the uh, kind words. Thank you very much, uh, guys. Big kind words. Chinese. Thank you. Thank you for joining us for this. And uh, we'll we'll see what the next one is. Keep an eye out for when we do Valheim. That's our next sort of ongoing stream idea, which is yeah. These. We can try and freak Joe out as much as possible during that. That's a survival yeah. game, isn't it? So there'll definitely be moments. And do yourselves a favor, go and check out the uh, the clips of Joe playing the the yes. horror games. Yes, just, the the clips on our, the clips on the Twitch of me just screaming uh, are quite are quite good. I'll get some. I'll try and put some highlights together for this because we don't have uh, we don't have the status to keep the streams on Twitch. But once we once we hit that, we obviously do. But I'll repackage this onto the YouTube. And I'll definitely uh, pick out some highlights from this because the highlights are are permanent. So thanks thanks for joining us, guys. Uh, you know you know where to find us. But for those who don't or watch this later, we're on all the all the socials at Indie Bandits, except for Instagram, which we didn't get the name for, which is the Indie Bandits. But you know what? Get a uh, get stuck in if uh, to the Discord if you're a uh, if you're a dev. We're gonna start doing more stuff. Uh, through that and we've got plans to 
shout out people's games and uh, highlight a few little games in the podcast as a little segment, as well as uh, tips and tricks that the community give us as well, which we're we're floating that around as well. So hopefully the the podcast and all the streams will have more of a like a a value added for devs who want to listen as well as our random bands. And from that, we'll just tell you to keep celebrating those indie games and wish you a good one.